parts of western Montana under siege tonight as rushing waters keep rising. As of tonight, more than 800 Missoula homes now under an evacuation warning as families pack up their belongings and wait for official orders to leave. Missoula now coping with the worst flooding the city has seen in decades, but Montana Lieutenant Governor Mike Cooney says the state stands ready to send whatever aid is needed. MTN's Dennis Bragg joined the Lieutenant Governor today to get a first-hand look at what Missoula County is facing. Lieutenant Governor Mike Cooney joined State Senator Diane Sands for a briefing and tour of Missoula's growing flood problem, with the Clark Fork starting to eclipse previous flood levels and reaching the highest marks in more than 30 years. Sheriff T.J. McDermott and others managing the evacuations and flood response told Cooney the community is coping so far, but will likely need more state assistance, especially with the bulk of this winter snow melt still to come downstream. Across town, Cooney met volunteers led by the Team Rubicon veterans who are turning out thousands of sandbags to save homes and neighborhoods. Bringing sand and hauling bags. That's great. That's what we're here for, right? Exactly. It's America. It's America. Thank you so much. The bottom line is the, the, this is a tough situation for the people here. Um, Missoula is lucky. You've had great volunteer turnout. Your community leaders have done a fabulous job of, you know, working with the people in the affected areas, trying to be accommodating as, as, as possible, but at the same time doing the job they have to do in order to protect the life and uh, safety of people. On the dike off Stone Street, the neighborhoods are awash in a combination of river and groundwater. In some cases, a few people are still evacuating, doing whatever they can to save now soggy possessions and limit the damage as much as possible. Right now, that's a battle without victory against the river's onslaught. You can hear the pumps running in this neighborhood nonstop. I asked the lieutenant governor what he would tell people if he could go door to door about the risks and the potential for more water to come. This is a tough thing, and I, I'd have to say, look, I understand. This is, this is a very disrupting thing. Uh, you think your lives have been turned upside down, and they have been. Um, but we're going to get through this. I mean, we're Montanans. We're resilient. Um, this is a great community that's going to help people along. Um, and so, you know, they need to reach out, and when they need something, ask, and I'm sure somebody will be there to help them out. But uh, this is going to be a long road to hoe, and uh, we got to be prepared. If there's good news here today, it's that critical systems like roads, dikes, and utilities are undamaged so far. That's where the state can step in as needed. But it's the individuals facing the unknown, and that's where the community is already making a difference. In Missoula, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.